So today, I think I'm going to set up a new board. You gotta grip this thing. Man, that looks nice. Aren't those colors nice? So, first thing. Just up grip tape. Maybe I should just Done. skate it like that. <laughs> Dude, that's how you learn how to make it. Why are you looking at me? It's just the perfect final it touches. If you don't do that, it doesn't skate well. In fact, you can't even skate on it at all. Oh wait. Great, so this is my board setup. As you can see, I'm skating a Revive 7.75. I like the 7.75s because they're not too wide and they're not too skinny. It's just kind of right in the middle. And then I have Jessup grip tape, perfectly gripped by uh, this guy. Um, yeah, I always like to scrape off these little parts just so I don't have anything sticking up and scrape down the sides really well so the grip tape doesn't peel up. And then for the trucks, again, I'm skating Thunder Highs. And these are, I believe the size is 147s, because those are what fit the 7.75 width of board. And then for the wheels, I'm skating Bones Street Tech Formula. With Bones Reds bearings. I always like Street Tech Formula because they do not flat spot. You cannot flat spot them, or at least I haven't been able to yet. Uh, so yeah, knock on wood. What? And a Braille t-shirt. What? Go to reviveskateboards.com and get your gear from there. So basically there's a rule, like the rule is you get a new board, you don't do any tricks. Then the first trick you have to do has to be a kickflip and you have to land it. And if you don't land the first kickflip, then the board sucks. Yeah, we're gonna count it! <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. Make sure and hit the like button. Make sure and hit the subscribe button, wherever it is. I don't even know where it is. And then definitely check out all of these other videos and playlists.